Hello, welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Now, let's see, last episode... Oh yes, we took care of Minmus Station. Uh, docking our test article there quite successfully, if I believe. And we organized a couple of things and are now sending back two of our crew members uh, for some well-deserved rest. The scientists will still have to stay a little. Let's see, next up is a Minmus Station tourist operation mid course correction in about a day. Before that, however, we are getting composites tech. Let's walk there. <coughs> Let's see, composites, that's this one, yes. What do we get? Uh, cradles, okay, not being, we will not use these for the time being. Uh, then some more crew tubes. These are just structural without any capacity for actual crew. Okay. <clears throat> An observation window with habitation. Okay. And a radial attachment point. The inline clampotron. That's nice. The structural panels, those we will be using sooner or later. The structural beams, yes. A soil moisture sensor, well, that would be nice to have on uh, on the Minmus station, actually, if we landed together with the lander there, maybe. Um, micro goo container. Uh, might also be nice if we replace the goo container on the lander with this and at one of these we could transport two samples maybe okay let me take a note of that oh oil moisture and micro lander Now then, what else? There's some kind of... Uh, oh, just a structural part. A base plate. And finally, the B-type container. Yes, please. Upper sized container. Also this one, um, <laughs> which is a considerably larger two and a half meter part. Uh, really just the big container for stations. We will use these some at some point. Okay, so that's that. We have 470 science, so we could get some more things. I think meta materials. I'm already researching. What else is there? These we can't get. Unmanned tech. I don't need yet another 500 kilometer dish. Actually, there was else I wanted. Where is it? This, oh, this one, yes. So 550 science to finally get the graph max. We will keep our science. In other news, we now have a lot of money from all these tourists, so uh, what can we do? Launch pads. We could build another launch pad. We only have three. Well, we do have three, that's a lot, but let's see. A new one would cost 2.7 million. Well, maybe later. What else? And these centers fully upgraded. The runway, half a million. Uh, we are not using it, but sure, let's go. And the space plane hangar, also half a million for the next level. Why not? Okay, these are now upgrading right here. Okay, meta materials still researching. What else? The astronaut complex, also half a million. 
Why not? Who cares? Okay. All the upgrades. Still nine days and here. Let's see. Still waiting for the solar training. As soon as we get enough people together who need the next who will form the next group. Let's see. Maybe I do have enough people. Let's check. Who's on the list? Atrealizos, Lispro, Donany. Train. This Paul. Jesus. And Donany. Actually, all the people I need for the next one. I trade Jesus. Well, yes. Well then, why didn't I do this earlier? Last of the old style vehicles. There's the pilot. The pilot will be Lispo and Catre and Lesus. And Donany. Let's go. And let me check your actually number B. Six probably. Let's be five re-entry before re-entry. Nice before here. Remove this. Yeah, this will be B6. Well then, launch zero. Engage uh, stage until probably this one. Let's assume stage two unless proven otherwise. And supply situation, 21 days, okay, yeah, let's go. That's one thing that uh, if I ever do an RSS playthrough will become difficult. Launches taking at least 10 minutes just to get uh, to space and then uh, hopefully into orbit. I mean even these take quite a while but... Only doesn't won't get easier. Everybody who's doing RS real solar system playthroughs appears to be doing a lot of editing of, of the launches. Yeah. 
And let's see, where are we? Coming up close to the uh, trailing, well, on the trailing side. Actually, how was the ascent? Quite a bit above, okay. That's no longer auto warp. Because we need to dump a little bit of fuel. Just a tiny bit. Let's try it like this, hopefully. Yeah, should definitely still be in atmosphere. Oh. Now we can warp. Dump a little bit of fuel there. Let's see, this is in a sufficiently suborbital trajectory. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, right about here. Come on. Well, that's a little bit earlier there, not set as target. I want to add a maneuver here. For about 9.30 and then we will move that maneuver to where it needs to be. Say periapsis. I right about there, okay. But uh, next thing or escape is in what? No, I want to go faster. Uh, a little bit faster? Well, 40, okay, 40 it is. And let's fix that maneuver node again. Okay. Should be about... 300, right? Yes. Oh, funny. Hmm. Actually a lot less than 300, okay. Well, let's go for 45 then. I seem to have forgotten. Let's try this again at the maneuver of minus 290. That's still good. Hmm, okay. Then let's, let's go for this and it will be fine. So far, six minutes, execute, remove.
Let's see, what's this chain? Shepdan, Suski, Magdas, Dekord, Helni, there's actually multiple here. Well, a lot. <laughs> okay. Nothing behind us, interestingly. So they are all kind of clumped together. Let's see, show debris. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Let's not look at that. Hello there, something. That was close. something days at the maneuver for minus 290 okay 280 would be immediate return so we will aim for minus 560 and move the maneuver node to uh, after this, so about, let's see, 1 hour 35 minutes, that's 95 minutes, oh dear, let's try like this, and 10 more minutes, that's not quite, okay, 5, well, now it's behind, okay. Uh, let's see how far. I want it outside and then two minutes, like this, okay. However, we will need a little bit of... Turning there and why... Oh, not normal, I want this way. Excellent. Periapsis, please. 18 days. That's about right. Okay. Yes. 34 kilometers is okay. And we will fine tune it once we are out there. Excellent. So oh, that's our maneuver, it is two minutes behind the transfer and a little ahead of this re-entry. Why is there... Oh, because... okay. Good. There's the stage. Let's go. Else is upcoming. Technology is still seven days. I don't care about these constructions and the. Oh, let's just. We can scrap these, whatever it was. My turn. Oh, and didn't I also have a resupply station for, huh, let's see, faulty power module. That's, I hate that there is uh, toggle like uh, have supplies, at least one unit and dock. Yes, I do want to bring some people there anyway. Although, yeah, we have some has to be a new vessel, so our tourist mission does not count. Anyway, let's go for 
this. Uh, so we need a supply mission. Okay. Let's see. Mid course correction. I would say we just go for this mid course correction. Otherwise, we will end spending too much time. Three tourists, two. That would be easy. We have done that. Flying by of Minmos. Paying a little less. Let me check. There's also this landing, which still needs to be done. Okay. I know who will be... No, I don't have a pilot. Huh. Anyway. Let's go for this mid-course correction. Let's see. As, as for the moment, let's check out Mimos and where we are relatively to where we want it to be. We want to get a little lower. There about sounds good. Okay. Now then. Add maneuver, circularize, add the next periapsis, create node, delete node. That's 158. I need to remember to shuffle around fuel for that. Unless I want to do it on RCS, which is also a viable option. Okay. Anyway, that's in four days. This one, I, that's not mid course, that's capture, fuel question mark, like this, okay, close alarm details, and let's go back to the space center. This is where it's obvious that this uh, Stolar training vessel is not built to go to the moons because of the way the fuel is distributed. It's just not, not ideal. Let's put it this way. And we need something for the moon station crew rotation. Okay, do we have a vessel for that? Probably one of the moon tourist ships. Yeah, we have. We still have plenty of those. Shall we maybe build one more of these? Because we will be using for a wheel train. Who knows whether we need another one? Yeah, we definitely need one more. Let's duplicate this. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's just get one going and bring one out on Launchpad Charlie. And also, let's build this uh, Minmos thingy. 
Oh, I don't have a note here. Right. What's this? Whatever. Let's build the uh, supply thing. Can we build that? Yeah, I think so. So a mission to go to Minmos, probably land on Minmos and swap some parts on the station. I'm afraid this one yeah, does not have any inventory space, so let's see what we can do. We want the scientific instruments. This is the gorset, this moisture sensor. Let's see how large it is. Doesn't fit and my carryable items cannot be stored. Thank you. Oh, it's too large. That's bad. I'm sure we can uh, store the uh, goo thingy. Where is it? Probably here then. Let's just this one, please. Yes, cannot carryable item as well. <sighs> okay, let's see. That will be difficult. Probably not this vessel then, because we need some storage space. Let's see, what else can we do? What if we use one of the resupply thingies? I would really like to know what kind of volume we are talking about. Oh, this one. <laughs> Seven liters, excellent. And this one, well, this one, soil moisture, 200 liters. Okay, so it can fit into a standard resupply whatever container. Which means we could also use one of these and put it on top of the Glamour tourist thing cause there is magic data one has uh, too much delta v anyway right What else do I need? I want a scientist, a pilot and a tourist. And they will go to Minmos. Bring the supplies to the station. How much did that so originally we have six point three six five. something is taking very long to build okay 
probably all of these new parts. But that's only a hundred meters per second. That's easy. And basically we get the rocket for free on the build time. It's only this one, which is also the most expensive part of the entire thing. Let's say purchase this. 10,000 purchase the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 22,000 alone. Anything else we need to bring to the Minmus lander? going to bring this parameter, thermometer, accelerometer. Okay, should be good now. Yeah, will be okay. So that will be minus hello. Can I please minus lender resupply and scientist and tourist landing something like that long name but uh, just so I remember what it's good for now we have enough supplies here yes those put the fairings back anything else no I don't think so And while we are at it, let's say if I want to build a couple of these containers because we will need them. So let's just use a whatever fuel tank as the core and then add these. Co Actually, we need mounting points, right? Well, container Bye. and now six of them yeah how long do six take four days so it wasn't the containers that were slow well doesn't matter I want these anyway parts and the number, please. Probably seven or eight. Eight, nine, actually, okay. Oh, it's nine. Containers. Also build these, please, yes. here okay next thing is this re-entry do we have to do anything before that this will roll out but we don't have the people uh, there's nothing happening and here also not much happening Yeah, 
Yeah, let's just bring these back. Then retrograde, we have 500 meters left, we are not going to make it to the KSC, because our periapsis is way over there. Prediction says we will end up in the drink, which is probably not correct, but, and we might also lose the tank again, let's see, but we do have... engineers here so this should have the uh, right, hello inventory yes this has a screwdriver so engineer finally go on eva open your inventory open this inventory grab this activate grab these Number one, number two, number three, four. I mean, it's not like they're costing much, but you may put this back, close, close board. That count as dangerous EVA? Yes, it did. Uh, let's get this back. Everybody else also, Academy. Yes. Yes, dangerous EVA for everybody. Is that everywhere? Yes, it does. Okay. Anything else we need to do? Probably not. Let's just re enter. Inclination 2 degrees, we are already east of the space center, so not worth uh, bothering anything. Periapsis, 31 kilometers, so we might even get... Well, let's see. How far from periapsis? One minute. Let's use our fuel in a couple of seconds. This is all 25 seconds. Well, we need to burn. So apparently in the standard design, the engine shields this tank. In this design, the tank is not shielded or a lot less shielded, which means we need to retro burn. This will become very interesting with our new design which does not have a high thrust to weight ratio, so it cannot quickly retro burn. We may need a slightly different re-entry profile for that. Let's try this way. Actually the other way.
some parachutes so that we don't forget. Further does this bring us? Possibly even on land. Let's try to actually go that way. These landings are taking way too long. And I'm a little afraid of uh, using time acceleration because that could lead to instabilities. Although this is so aerodynamic it would probably automatically fall back into its uh, engine first position. Even with the empty tank the uh, center of mass is still around here. Okay, protrude failed. Mains are holding. And I was hoping we would at least have one landing of this ship without anything uh, getting lost. Doesn't even show. Well, doesn't show the broke failing, but that's okay. Okay, let's recover, please. Recover, please. Ended up quite a way, quite a bit away from the KSC. And at least all of them got their experience points. Noli and Lembus, I think that's the two engineers, are still missing something. Well, doesn't. Well, let's see. Lembus is missing Minmus and. Anoli is also missing Minmus. Okay, good. Now done. We are probably past the 40 minutes quite a bit. So it's time to cut the episode and get some real life things done. Let's see in the next one. Yeah, Bill and Bob might return from Minmus and that's a mid-course correction for the rescues from Minmus and then um, the solar orbit return. I'm not sure we will get anything else to do before then, but just, just 
let's just visit Valentina. We haven't given her a... I uh, haven't looked at her in quite a while. She is a little bit ahead of uh, Kerbin. Do we have any interesting new asteroids? B-type and... Where is this B-type? Okay. That might... Uh, who cares? Let's have a look at Valentina, who has been on her mission for 54 days already. to light the solar panels. I mean, she has enough light. Let's check. Uh, have supplies for over a year still. So she's safe on those. She has no connection to Kerbin right now because it's probably more than 200 million meters and she doesn't have a better antenna. Don't want to mess up the uh, intercept here, but <clears throat> let's see distance to curb in any other way to find this out. What does the antenna say? Yes, exactly. It's two hundred thirteen million meters, so she doesn't even have television anymore. Oh, that's bad. Any signs? No. Anything else? I don't think so. So I'm afraid Valentina will still have to endure another 74 days until closest approach with her asteroid and hopefully by that time she will be back in uh, contact with KSC. Say hi. Well then. With that I would say uh, definitely thank you for watching this episode. Uh, even though well, we've had a couple more busy episodes, one or two episodes ago, but that's the way of KSP. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, uh, leave a comment down below and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.